Happy Mola Monday Epic 7, and welcome to this week's Hall of Trials video. This week we will be tackling the incredibly loud, incomplete fastest. Not even kidding guys, his in-game sounds are off the charts, so headphone warning, turn your volume down or have your eardrums blown out. Now, there is no Dagger Sakaar reputation mission for incomplete fastest, so we're just going to work on a triple S plus full auto team. This week, the developers have really done us a solid by giving us really easy conditions. When an Earth Elemental hero is on the team, decrease the attack of all allies by 80%. Wish they would just say, you can't use Earth Elemental heroes. I mean, really, that's what they're saying here. Don't use Earth Elemental heroes, unless you really want to challenge yourself. Reduce the effect of combat readiness decrease inflicted on boss monster by 100%. Another long-winded way of saying you can't CR manipulate the boss. Advantages. Increased damage suffered from a boss by 30% from heroes who have a barrier. So we want a barrier spammer in the game, and that's pretty easy. Just about every freaking support unit in Epic 7 gives barriers right now, so that should be a pretty easy condition to fulfill for 30% more damage. Increase attack and max health of fire elemental heroes. Did somebody say Sermia? So this is the team that we've come up with. Now, there are a lot of solutions to this team. Now, I know some of you may be going, oh, you can't use Camilla dual attacks. You'll get reflected and killed. You can have one dual attacker on the team. It'll be fine. Unless you get really unlucky and 3% some extra dual attacks in there somewhere, you'll be fine with one dual attacking unit and it will help you push score. So we're just going to run a standard Camilla. I'm running Camilla on Benny Mars Tachi because the attack buff is really nice. You don't have to run her on this artifact if you are going to have a attack buffing unit on the team, but it does make it a little easier. I've got her running relatively fast, so she cycles her skills. Next on the team is my barrier spammer, Brieg. Brieg you can run on just your normal expedition Brieg gear. It really, uh, he really doesn't take much. He is just there to spam the barriers and the normal build on him seemed to work just fine. Brieg also brings a little bit of damage. Alternates to Brieg, if you don't have them, are literally any unit that spams barriers. Uh, Mediator Queric would be fantastic. He'll cleanse all the BS at the beginning and give an attack buff, which is something that will be missing from this team. So he might actually be better. And then by the time you get to the break phase, his S2 will go off, giving you the barriers that you need to get maximum damage. Uh, Last Rider Crow, Arrowell, DN. There's a lot of options to this. Next, for a little bit of sustain and some cleansing, I'm running Mascot Hazel. I thought Mascot Hazel would be a good option because of the uh, greater attack buff and attack buff she would give to the whole team, but Unless you want to manual it and S2 first, and then S3, the buff block will keep the attack buff from applying. So really, she doesn't bring a lot to this fight. But I'm still going to run her to show that if you ran a stable attack buffing unit like Mediator Queric or uh, um, DN, you would actually have a better chance at racking up a higher score. But I wanted to use all free units. Just the standard old Rift build. Hopefully you still have some gear on her from when we were all doing Rift. Oh, and it was pointed out to me earlier, too, Angelica is also a very solid choice for this. She gives the healing, she gives the cleansing, she drops barriers. And last, we're going to run Sermia because she's free and she is gorgeous. This is a standard expedition Sermia. She's not got the best rage set gear on. 4.6k attack and 312 crit damage. This Serbia has not got my best gear. She's not got my seventh best gear on. She's running speed boots. If you put her on attack boots, you'll do even more damage. The one thing you do want to make sure is she has the number one EE so that she does have a chance to double, ta double tap and slap her on Cruel Mischief so you are doing maximum damage. If, for some weird reason, you are living a life without Sermia, I, I, I don't know how you get out of bed in the morning. But if you are running that life and you want to run a different DPS unit, just find a good fire unit that does damage. Um, a really good one would probably be Milam. With, uh, with Demon Lord Milam, you can rack up a lot of damage. You can build her on a rage set if you really want to do it. Uh, Milam has an EE to increase her Dragon Buster bonus. I think Melium is a really good option if you don't have Sermia. So yeah, you can you can run Malum and probably pull off Dagger Sakar as well. Sue's gonna kill me for this. 
<laughs> anyway, you just press start. So at the start of the fight, make sure you turn uh, Sermia's skills off. God, he is still loud with the volume turned down. Make sure you turn Sermia's skills off and you turn Camilla's skills off if you're running Tachi. If you're not running Tachi, you'll probably either want to turn her skills on or make sure that you have a unit like DN uh, or Mediator Queric who spams attack buff. Now remember, Tachi won't proc if she's wearing a debuff, so that wasn't bad luck. That's just debuff keeping Tachi from working. It is a free-to-play Tachi, so it only has a 75% chance to proc. Brieg applies the barriers, so we're doing full damage and we're into the break phase. Now, if you're terribly unlucky and Tachi doesn't proc at all, or you get a lot of random dual attacks and it procs a uh, reflect, then just restart it. I can't guarantee this will be done the first time through, but it seems pretty stable. We're already at 1.9 million. We only need 4.5. You degrade. Nice double hit into Idol's cheer. Hey, double hit from Sermia. I was wondering if that was ever going to happen. And now we're into the break phase. Hopefully, Briggs' berries are ready. Next time around. There is no Dagger Sakar for Incomplete Fastest. So all we're going for is 4.5 million for Triple S+. Plus. There's the barriers. Now we get the extra damage boost. Blam. Bam. I have no mercy to spare. For your reckless Four point three million out of the second break phase. All we have to do is complete and it's over. Now there is some slight RNG if they hard focus Sermia. It could be over. Sermia doesn't have enough health to be hard focused by all of these units. But as long as that doesn't happen, we should be good. In fact, I think we're going to hit without even full clearing here. And mind you, I'm doing this with at, with speed boots on Sermia. You put attack boots attack boots on Sermia, you'll be it before you get out of the break phase. I suspect. There we go. Triple S plus. See what I mean about it's okay to put a dual attack unit on the team? As long as you don't have more than one dual attack unit. More than one, you can trigger reflect. Bam, there we go. 4.6 million, plus the 1 million full clear bonus. Easy triple S plus week, guys, with lots of options. Your combination here is strong fire DPS. So Sermia or Malum, Milum, Milum, Malim, Milum. And a dual attacking unit like Camilla, ideally Camilla. If you don't have Camilla, you could run Sinful Angelica. You could run K Kitty Clarissa. You could run Fire Ken. There's lots of options. Just make sure it's a dual attack unit. You could even run the new Politus, right? Yeah. There is a pretty good chance you could pull off Genua in this as a DPS as well. As for the other two units, Barrier Spammer and Healer. That's all you need to make this happen. Hopefully this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments section. Uh, don't forget to join my Discord, and especially don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your week, everybody.